Hey guys, uh, so I am here in my bathroom right now for lighting purposes and I wanted to do a little bit of a product focus because all I've been doing is wearing obsessive compulsive lip tars. I just did a video beforehand saying how much I freaking love this stuff and I really do, it's fantastic. So I'm going to just do a little quick review of the products that I did buy and um, give you guys a little bit of advice I guess for when you are using lip tars. So there are plenty of videos here on YouTube discussing the ways that you can mix and match colors to create different um, colors or lip specific lip colors when you want to achieve a specific color. So I'm not going to really go into that. I know that Jude Rivera has a really good review on that and I'm just going to pretty much talk about the colors I got and all the rest of that good stuff. So let's get started. So um, to begin with I swatch the colors that I do have on me. So this one right here is the Feathered, which is a white. Next to that is Safety Orange. Next to that is Pageant. And then next to that is Catricia. And then next to Catricia is NSFW. Next to that is RX. And then the last one is Tart. Now, I know that some people are going to be like, oh my god, these colors are so ridiculously extreme. And, you know, it's true. I mean, I don't know a lot of people who are going to just put, like, straight blue on their face. And I'm not one of those people. Well, I might be, depending on if I'm doing, like, a Disney look or something. But um, what's really great about this product is it comes in these tubes, right? And you just get however much you wanted. I'm going to show you. This is on my mirror, so I'm not sure if it's going to show very well. But it is. Okay, so those are the colors that I put. I'm using this as a palette right now. And as you can see, there there is not much product on there. And I took one little dab and swiped them on my uh, lip brush. This lip brush I got from uh, Crown. So after I swatched them, I, this is a very light application, and you can see how opaque it is. It's fantastic. I didn't really put a lot of product on my hand, and it's completely covering my skin, which is fantastic, which is great for, um, you know, achieving, like, a really good wear. You could also tone these down by mixing them with a little bit of lip balm and making it more sheer. That's completely possible, too. So uh, with... That and with the whole idea of obsessive compulsive, I want to let you guys know that, you know, it looks really shiny and stuff, and it pretty much is. It's not sticky whatsoever, which is fantastic. It's not like a lip gloss or anything, and um, it kind of sets matte after a while. So um, one big suggestion that I have is to condition your lips beforehand and really let whatever you're using to condition your lips to set like really well because this this product will pre will dry out your lips because I've noticed that with myself. So what I usually do like because I take like I don't know like 30 minutes to do my makeup and what I'll do is I use a uh, Carmex. I use Cherry Carmex because I like the way it smells. But I'll put this on before I start doing my makeup and I'll let it condition my lips for a while and I've been regularly exfoliating my lips because they've been dry lately. So what I've been exfoliating my lips with is a little bit of honey and sugar and I just scrub my lips and you could also use a toothbrush you know once you're done brushing your teeth you could just go ahead and scrub your lips a little bit and it'll totally exfoliate your lips but so I'll do that I will um, I will condition my lips while I'm doing my lip, lip my makeup and then afterwards what I will do is um, you know take off any excess of the conditioner and one thing that I have noticed about this product is it feathers and I don't know if some people don't have any issues with feathering if you don't then it's not a big deal but my lipstick feathers very easily so, and it really bothers me a lot so a long time ago I got the uh, doo-wop reverse lip liner as you can see I've already used like half of it and what it is, it's, it says on here, it says it's a clear liner for outside the lips. And it has a waxy consistency, so it stops anything. Once you put it on a specific point, uh, the product will not travel outside of that point. So it's kind of like creating a, like a clear barrier between it. So what I do is I line my lip line 
where I want my lipstick to end and I put it on before I even do anything because it keeps it from going anywhere else and that's what I pretty much do so then afterwards I mix whatever products I want to create a lip I want what I'm wearing right now is I'm wearing pageant safety orange in equal parts and then I put a little bit just a little tiny bit of black in it and then I bumped it up with a little bit of white so it gave this really pretty pink that's kind of reminiscent to um, a lipstick from the Barbie Loves Mac collection it's really pretty I love it <laughs> and um, what's really great specifically about these lip tars is you could do like I've been drinking out of a straw I had lunch and the color is still pretty much fantastic the only thing that I really did have to touch up on is at the corners of my mouth but that's just how I am so um, those are a couple of things to look out for like you could see right now it is feathering on my skin it might be my skin type though because I'm a little bit oily in general so but I use my lip brush to create a color I'm this lip brush is a little bit pigmented because I swatched everything but I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what you can do I'm not gonna do like a lot because there's already a lot of people who've done this so I'm gonna take some of this I was pretty much gonna take colors and mix them up so I'm taking pageant right then I'm gonna take a little bit of the safety orange and apply it to that and it gives it like it's still a pink but it's a lot rosier which is really pretty it has more of a coral color to it now I'm gonna add a little this is kinda weird but I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of this blue in here and it gives this really great plum as you can see so there's a lot of different things that you can do with these lip tars to achieve different colors that you you know would normally have to buy a whole lipstick for just for one color you're not gonna need, gonna need that and every single time that I've used these lip tars when I get some product out I am barely even squeezing like I'm gonna open my Catricia up right now and it's got a little bit of excess on there and I will just dab that whatever is on there and I'll put it on my mirror as a palette and I will use that and that's going to cover my lips that's it and this whole tube I mean look how big this tube is it's you're not gonna be able to use like a ridiculous amount of product to cover your lips so this is going to last you a long time online I know that it says that it is uh, 12 bucks 1250 I'm sorry 1250 a piece for um, each lip tar the website I will put a link on the side it's occmakeup.com and it is kind of expensive for one color but if you think about the different colors you're going to try to buy and they're gonna um, run out eventually you're gonna have all these different base colors to be able to mix and match and create hundreds of more colors with these colors that you're gonna get I'm planning on getting the rest of them because I absolutely love this product and I recommend it for everybody and what makes it even better is this company is vegan so there are no animal byproducts in this in these products whatsoever it's fantastic so I hope you guys find this very useful and I hope you guys check them out because if you're not you know you're kind of missing out it's a fantastic product and I completely recommend it for everybody regardless of if you're a makeup artist because it's just a great product to use so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye. It's so funny you're calling me. I'm doing a review on lip tars right now. <laughs> Cousin says hi on YouTube or hi to YouTube. I'm talking to her on the phone. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, thanks for ruining my video.